Greetings! Manta Ray 79 here! And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Violet Part 58! Okie dokie, let's begin pressing the A button now! And here we are, back where I last saved! For those of you who watched my previous video, I had spent that time taking and finishing more classes here in the Youth Academy. I had finished the Art Class Level 3 with its midterm exam. And now in today's video, I'm going to be taking another class here in the Youth Academy, which is... What is available right now? Home Ec 3. Alright, selecting Home Ec 3. You like Home Ec with Mr. Sagiwaro? Yes, I would. Click and... Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. I won't. And off we go to the classroom! Here we are in the classroom! Put away your phones! It is time to begin class! Wow, that's a pretty typical line to say in the beginning of class. In my last class, I taught about HP restoration. However, after class, I was asked by several of you about power points, commonly known as PP. When a Pokemon loses all of its HP, it faints and can no longer battle. What then happens to a Pokemon when it loses all of its PP? It can't use moves. It won't listen to its trainer. All of its stats get lowered. The answer is, it can't use moves. Perfectly correct, Master Manta Ray 79. Perhaps you know this from first-hand experience. Sadly, I do. When a Pokemon runs out of PP, it can no longer use its moves. However, each move has its own store of PP, so you can mitigate PP loss by using a variety of moves rather than just using one repeatedly. If a Pokemon uses all of PP for its, all of its moves, it will only be able to use Struggle, an action that, that also damages the Pokemon that uses it. In order to avoid this predicament, PP can be restored at Pokemon centers along with HP. A very convenient feature. Items such as Ethers, Max Ethers, can also be used to restore PP. Be careful not to confuse potions of Ethers in the heat of battle. I won't. However, Ethers are not sold at shops. You should just use them judiciously if you find them. The stronger the move, the lower is maximum PP. Do not use those moves unless you wish to quickly run out of PP. It is important to find balance in a Pokemon set of moves. As you can see, HP isn't the only thing you must keep an eye on while adventuring with Pokemon. I hope that you will all take care to ensure your partner Pokemon can perform at their best as you exchange and engage in the treasure hunt. Our time together has come to an end for today. Our next meeting will be an examination day, another exam. Be sure to reveal well in preparation, I will and leaving the classroom, returning to the entrance. Here we are in the entrance, gonna check, is the exam up and ready? Yep, there it is, hope and midterm, not gonna take it yet. With that, there's about all the time we have for today. First I wanna say is, thank you to the viewers for watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also be all sure support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And if that I say, goodbye and see you all soon.